Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia TV. My name is Lauren, and on this episode, we will be discussing how marriage can affect your student loans. Let's get started. Marriage is an incredibly exciting time in your life. You're embarking on a new journey with your spouse at your side. What used to be mine is now ours, and for better or for worse. And this includes your student loans. Finances, but even more specifically, student loans can be super difficult to talk about with your soon-to-be or recently married spouse. However, it is incredibly important to understand the impact that marriage has on student loans, so neither of you are taken by surprise if your student loan payment drastically increases. Here are two common situations and some high-level points that you should know. Situation number one, if one spouse has public student loans. Marriage impacts student loans that are on an income-based repayment plan. These plans calculate your payment by multiplying your income after a state-specific poverty line deduction by a certain percentage, which is most commonly 10%. These are usually the best plans for borrowers because the payments are designed to better fit your income level. The IBR payments, except for revised pay as you earn, are capped at the payment amount for the standard 10-year repayment plan. In other words, your IBR payments, except for revised pay as you earn, won't pay off your loans any faster than 10 years. However, once you marry, it is likely that your spouse's income will now be included in your student loan payment calculation. So here's an example. Let's say Arya, shout out to Game of Thrones fans, has $250,000 of student loans and earns $100,000 a year. Before she is married, her student loan payment is likely around $683 a month. Let's assume that she marries Gendry, who also earns $100,000 a year, and they file taxes jointly. Arya's monthly student loan payment will now balloon from $683 a month to $1,467 a month, a 115% increase. This is called the marriage penalty with regard to student loans. However, there are ways to avoid this. As long as you are not on the revised pay as you earn, you can file taxes separately, which excludes the other spouse's income. It may come at a small cost of paying a bit more in taxes to the government, but you should weigh that versus the massive increase in student loan payments you are now required to make. Situation number two, if one or both spouses have private student loans. Private student loans are far less flexible than public student loans. You rarely have the option to change how much your payments are as you do with public loans. You should always be careful when refinancing public loans. You need to weigh the flexibility and forgiveness provisions of public loans versus the possible decrease in interest paid of private loans. Although it's morbid, it's really important to review the private loan promissory note about what happens if one spouse were to pass away. If Arya had private student loans and she didn't succeed in killing the Night King, it is likely that her entire private student loan balance could become due at her death. This could leave a huge debt behind for a spouse that she never anticipated. So, what can I and should I do? First, be open and honest about each spouse's student loan payments. Have the conversations before you get married about how marriage may affect your student loan payments. This will help you properly plan your cash flow as a team. Second, carefully consider what student loan repayment strategy you are on. The standard 10-year repayment plan may not be the best fit for you, and it may make sense to switch to an IBR plan. Lastly, seek out professional advice, especially when both spouses have student loans. Student loans are really complex. You need to fully understand how your student loan repayment strategy affects your other financial roles. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nostology TV. As always, if you are seeking help or guidance with your student loan debt, contact myself and the professionals at WealthNest. See you next time.